What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome to the Armadillo Fafnir on the live server, fully maxed, fixing one problem that the Fafnir always has when he's flying, which is he's very vulnerable, right? You can boost your firepower so much with that built-in laser, shield break, and firepower, but then you're flying and you're vulnerable, and you get usually shot down very fast, but that is something you can now fix in War Robots with uh, these uh, immune amplifiers, for example, but most of all, we have uh, the... Uh, wait, immune amplifier? Oh no, this is the wrong build. I was supposed to use repair amplifier. Whoops, my bad. So you can make it even better than you'll see it in the video, but believe me, you're gonna see something crazy in this video. We have Sviatagor Belov who ignores shields, and we have Adamant Guardian, when the enemy controls more beacons, resistance, Stubborn Warrior, when we're low on HP, resistance, and most of all, Armadillo Drone. Every beacon capped and every kill we get, and we get a lot, is more resistance, and therefore, Starting with a beacon cap, already getting the 15 first resistance points. And now everything I do ends up making me more resistance. Th also in the air. So I can at some point start to fly, block damage with that absorber shield, amplify the built-in laser. And from this moment, simply ruin the game for the enemy team. Completely controlling the engagement with firepower that's out of this world. Ignoring the shields and then being still resistant and hard to kill in the air. With the mobility and everything, right? This is absolutely crazy. What a crazy build this is. Look, this for example, it's pre-nerf, pre so the spear is still ridiculously overpowered at this point when I was recording this, but I know his weapon only has 500 meters range, and guess what? I've got 600, bro. Bop, 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 have fun. And he realized he can't fight me like this. So yeah, uh, also the range on our weapon setup with the hazard four times is a really good idea, I think. And uh, just generally look at this angler. He can't attack me. It's impossible to attack a freaking Fafnir when you are running an angler. It's not possible unless, of course, you shoot him with, for example, the claw, jaw, talon or something. But other than that, your area effect, your blinding stuff, it doesn't work against the Fafnir because I'm never going to be able to, uh, going to be hit by him. It is such a funny, powerful thing. Unfortunately, though, uh, I just didn't get the kill. Very, very unfortunate because I was reloading, I think, my uh, hazard at that time. But um, so I lost a bit of potential resistance. But now I'm getting shot from behind by the enemy Kepri with his spear. He came back to me with his, uh, he teleported here. He wanted me so much, or I don't know, maybe it just in, uh, happened to be a good move for him, but he came all this way here with his Spear Kepri, um, and remember, this thing is overpowered still in pre-nerf, uh, so it wasn't nerfed yet, uh, but, uh, thankfully I got him slowed with the battleship, and my team is helping, and we could just ruin him here completely. Bop, 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 and look at the damage he's taking. And I'm getting shot by another Spear Capri from behind, but I'm just boosting up with my shield and I'm blocking all the damage output from him. So now I have a heavily amplified built-in laser that will be doing so much damage to the enemy. And I already have more resistance and I can already just stay up here and brutalize the enemy. Starting with this Titan over there, okay? This is a freaking titan coming up. A titan. But I have heavily boosted damage output thanks to this guy shooting into the backside of my absorber shield, boosting the built-in laser. I'm flying fast and I have some resistance. So see what I can do against this freaking Lucha man. Look how fast he's going down. And I don't think this is a low-level luchador, right? I don't know why he's not using his reflector. Maybe it was used before, or maybe he thinks he didn't need it. Oh, there it is. Maybe he thought he didn't need it against one single flying Fafnir, but clearly... Uh, wait, that was a voice crap. Clearly! Uh, clearly that was a bad mistake. Uh, and yeah, so, ladies and gentlemen, that is a freaking Fafnir ruining a luchador in 5 or 10 seconds, man. Absolutely brutalized this guy um, with the built-in laser. Now, of course, I landed now because there are so many sniping setups coming up. And you can also see this guy with his punchers. Every time I walk out, he immediately shoots me. Thankfully, that third shot deals two or 300% damage with the weapon. And I can take another kill, getting more and more resistance. And then we are hit by some kind of... Area effect. What was that? Was that the the um, 
And the battleship, the, the frozen scorn. Yeah, it must. I think it was the frozen scorn battleship doing its laser thing, right? All right, so look, as soon as I go out here, I immediately get shot by a jaw, claw, whatever, nether robot, and also by the Kepri. But then I use this opportunity to fly up, block all that damage with my purple shield, and therefore boost my built in weapon damage tremendously. Right? And look how I can just ruin this Seraph down there, man. He stands no chance. I even had a yellow shield on top. Um, and then even if he didn't have, if I didn't have the shield, he would still have to struggle with the heavy resistance I now have in the air. With also the added resistance from the stubborn warrior now because I'm low HP. It is so hard to kill me now. And it's just so much fun to be a Fafnir in the air. And have resistance at the same time, enjoying all the built-in laser, the shield bypass, and all of that without being a one-hit kill anymore, right? Because let's face it, every time you see a Fafnir, you expect him to be like an easy one-hit kill. Because that's not normally what they are. When they fly around, they're easy kills and prey, right? Not like this anymore. And I so much enjoy figuring out some fun setups like this. But now, of course, since everyone can fly, Titans can fly, Seraphs can fly, and there's no cover. There's no cover everywhere anywhere because everybody can just fly over your cover and uh, fly forever with abilities that last for 20 seconds and such nonsense but uh, yeah I was still able to have a ton of fun I sped up the rest of the gameplay for you here because I wanted you to see what happened in the end of this match right because if I just skip to the stat screen you don't know what happened between what you last saw and the stat screen so you don't have a feeling of how much damage did the Fafnir do Therefore, I'm showing you till the end of the match. It's only a few seconds and I amplified this so you you and I we can both have a good feeling of how much damage the Fafnir must have done because you saw how much damage we probably did with the Titan. Uh, and it's not that much damage, I would say maybe a million or so that we did with a Titan here tops um, until the match ended. And so therefore now let's see how much we've done. 5.3 million damage with the f all of the combined, so taking a million away, uh, adding it to the Titan play, we did about 4, 4.5 four or something million damage with the Fafnir. And it was really just this one Fafnir I used and I didn't even use it for very long before I get, get got killed, right? So it just goes to show that this is a really working and fun setup. Up. And let's hop into a sniper map with this setup here dropping this uh, nightingale there instantly or whatever it was getting the first resistance points then scoring a beacon cap with my uh, friend here uh, from the DDR clan uh, who is with me capturing the beacon for unfortunately I couldn't get that kill down there but uh, we get we're getting the beacon as, as soon as soon as this guy just dies uh, and that is more resistance for us and we have powerful players here we have spear capris like crazy we have mars robots and really powerful setups uh, but at the same time we are running this super powerful fafnir and look at the legs he's here okay now he's here and then pop he's back in cover just and he lags in cover and there's no opportunity to shoot him. The lag that I could show you in a minute is even more problematic. But look at this. We have a lot of shield energy, but we're getting dropped very quickly. Um, and then, because a Mars robot, Mars, Mars turret is shooting down my shield. Uh, do you notice how easily a Mars turret drops a 500,000 HP shield? It's just ridiculous, isn't it? But yeah, everything is ridiculous nowadays in War Robots, including this setup. So I see so many things shooting me, and so I open my built-in shield now and block the firepower from all those enemies who were focused on me for the second. Therefore, I built, uh, amplified that built-in laser very high. And uh, look at this guy. Look at the lag. I'm flying into 350 meters range, so my fire built-in laser can finally fire. And look what he does. Boop. He just lags into 400 meters. Pop! Teleports 50 meters forward. It's it's war robots. But yeah, let's just uh, let's just ruin this Mars robot with our shield bypass and the built-in laser. Look how much laser damage we do just with the built-in weapon because I was on reload. It's so insane, man. And the fact that you can have that. And by the way, I'm capturing the beacon underneath me, getting even more resistance now. And uh, and then I'm landing, getting more resistance from the stationary mode that the. Um, that the Fafnir has, because if the Fafnir stands, he also has more resistance than if he flies. But at this point, the stationary resistance becomes not very, very noticeable anymore, because we get so much more from the Armadillo drone, and also once we go low on health from the other things. Problem is though, I'm in the enemy base now, and this is domination, so they all spawn here. And that is really a problem, I should not be here. I should have stayed over, maybe here behind the column, so I could have fended off the attackers, and have had cover for me 
to hide behind. Instead, I flew over into the enemy home base where they all respawn. And, uh, and obviously, with this much overwhelming firepower that the enemy brings, there's no surviving it. I'm getting sniped, I'm getting shot, I'm getting spawned on. And although I have technically a ridiculous amount of firepower and resistance, I'm in the wrong place, clearly, and I get too much damage here. And I don't survive it for too long. Um, but yeah, so let's hop into this situation. Got this beacon first resistance. Let's see what we can do in this situation. You still have to be a little careful. You still can't just rush into the enemy base spawn uh, and uh, expect to win, right? I mean, this is just... That would just be crazy. Uh, but, um, and that that's why I lost my Fafni in the previous match. Sorry for it. That was a really... It was my playing mistake here. Getting another re uh, resistance by killing this uh, Orochi and then capturing the beacon back, which gives us yet more resistance. That's already the third boost we're getting starting to fly here blocking damage output boosting the built-in laser and then ruining this Fafnir Inc no no the Seraph sorry incredibly easily and fast Pots there he goes fourth boost there is an Orochi down there and there is a uh, leech we're activating his uh, his built-in uh, his his leech ability then we're focusing this guy for a second getting a fifth boost pop that's five times 15 resistance points already releasing his last stand down there and what's the orochi doing uh, he is still there targeting system fools me of course i wanted to shoot the orochi but the targeting system thinks huh how about we shoot we just shoot at the highly resistant seraph uh, no a, ser a siren flying above you instead and uh, yeah so i've got super low hp now because literally everyone and their dog is shooting at me right now um, the entire enemy team uh, with the covering bullets and whatever the heck it's all shooting me I'm getting more and more kills and more and more resistance, but look at this I mean even Titan weapons already one and a half minutes in there's an Ao Ming Titan already shooting me Jesus Christ guys uh, So unfortunately, that's the end of my gameplay session here I wish I could have shown you more and it is still the problem as soon as you fly up Everyone shoots you with a Fafnir because they can all use all see you you're in the open with your flight So even with high resistance you still get five weapons shooting you or five players and you still go down So maybe we need to try this in free for all or maybe we need to try this on a different map like Shenzhen Where there is super much cover uh, every building you can fly behind and you're safe, right? Something like this, but where that, what I've just done here unfortunately uh, although I could technically go go nuts on the enemy team when all all of them shoot me at the same time, including titans that shouldn't even freaking exist after one minute. Like, what the hell? Um, yeah, it just ends the Fafnir there, uh, because the titan weapons go right through all of the resistance I'm building up. So, yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. Tell me what you think in the comment section. Stay tuned, and uh, see you around. Money signing off. Bye-bye.